Happy Saturday, guys. I just wanted to hop on for a minute and talk about skincare. Me and my Huppel dog. Um, some of the products that I personally use um, are this face wash. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. It does have a little bit of a physical exfoliant in it, but it also has AHAs, which are um, alpha hydroxy acids, which also are um, like a little bit of a chemical exfoliant. So that's real good to keep your skin fresh and soft. Um, I do have this this Sonic skin brush that I use um, twice a week ish. Um, Sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on what my skin is feeling like. Um, this is the Spa Sciences brand. I picked this one up at Walmart. It is rechargeable, and it is um, waterproof. It's It came with this holder that just sticks to the side of the shower, so it's got its own little caddy, which is nice. Um, and I charged it overnight when I got it, and that was three months ago and I haven't had it die on me yet so it lasts for a long time the battery does um, it has four different four different settings it's got these two buttons one's a power button and one is a one is a settings button and um, so it has different different speeds of uh, sonic pulses that it that it gives off um, this one I got in clearance at Walmart for $25, but it does retail on Amazon for $49.99 or something like that. Um, another thing I really like is uh, is retinol, and so I, I prefer my retinol in a serum. And so I picked this up on Amazon for, I think it was $6.95. Um, I just got it, like this week I just bought that one. I have picked up a couple of different ones at TJ Maxx that I like okay. This one is one I got on the clearance, or not the clearance rack, just at TJ Maxx. And it was, this one just has vitamin C in it. Um, and I don't know if you can, you probably can't see. But it, it started out clear and it's not clear anymore. It's, um, I don't know if you can see, but it, it did get just a little bit cloudy. Um... And that's because the vitamin C is kind of oxidizing. And so that communicates to me that it is a water base. Which, that's not a secret. It says on there that it's got water in it. Um, you know, that's what it starts with. It's better if it has like an aloe vera base, according to Susan Yara from Mixed Makeup on YouTube. Um, this one does have an aloe vera base, so that, um, that tells me that it's just a little not higher class that's the word that came to my mind but it's just a little higher quality and you're gonna your skin will get a little more out of it if it's got an aloe vera base um the current moisturizer that i use again was <laughs> off the clearance rack at tj maxx um it's just this um what's it called oh elasto lift anti-aging i think this really was meant to be um meant to be like a, a body lotion but I just use it on my face and I really have been happy with it I spend a lot of time in the sun and stuff so I kind of got to be careful with the retinol so during the summer I didn't use a serum with retinol since I was using this <clears throat> and I did wear a hat um, to protect my face since I was using a retinoid because um, I have a swimming pool and I spend a lot of time outside in the summer in the pool so I do I do try to be real conscious of um, of skincare and stuff in the summer protecting it when I'm using retinol so that I don't um, burn or damage my skin another one that I use when I'm feeling lazy is this is just an unscented body lotion just a fragrance free from Walmart um, and if I'm feeling lazy and don't feel like um, doing all the other with the serums and everything I'll just throw that on if I'm in a hurry um and that seems to be just fine on my face I don't have a big problem with like acne and things like that I don't have a lot of blemishes um that are a problem for me my issues are more <clears throat> hyperpigmentation um and um I've got a little bit of a little bit of I noticed like fine lines and crow's feet 
and things that were, were trying to happen, like around my smile lines. Like I could really notice some fine lines around here. And so um, I just really started hitting it hard with the moisturizer and with, you know, being more, more um, conscious of exfoliating and stuff like that. And I noticed that that really did make a big difference. So my issue was just dead skin and uh, a lack of hydration. So those things really helped me. So if you are looking for something to have a smoother look to your skin, you want to exfoliate somehow. Um, if your skin is sensitive, you can pick up this product called like, it's called Buff Puff. And it's just like, they're just little like oval kind of sponges and they're not real rough on you. Or even um, you could do like a baking soda scrub with like a little bit of, you could even just mix it in a tiny bit of water, like baking soda and water and make like a paste or baking soda and coconut oil. Or if your skin is not real sensitive, you could even do like a salt or a sugar scrub, mix it with like olive oil, coconut oil, something like that. Um, I did notice that some hand lotions or whatever will break down sugar and salt if you try to mix it with that. So that's not necessarily a good choice if you're going to do like a, um, like a homemade scrub. But, um, I've done sugar scrub, baking soda scrub, all those kinds of things on my skin personally, and I don't have an issue with that. Um, but yeah, that's what I do for my skin, and I don't know if it's right or wrong, it's just what works for me so yeah anyways we're having internet issues so that's what I'm filming on my phone and if I wanted to get a video up today that's just how I had to do it because I don't have um, Wi-Fi or anything the the line to our home um, broke from us from some snow we got yesterday so are we done Hupple? are we all done you're so pretty isn't she pretty like a picture her don't never do nothing wrong Actually, she's super naughty, but don't tell her I told you. So, um, oh, uh, Jesus loves you and be blessed.